In the ongoing tech rivalry between the US and China, SMIC has made a strategic move by securing a supply of chip-making equipment from ASML, hinting at a potential easing of sanctions. This year, SMIC is set to invest a substantial $4.3 billion in capital expenditure, primarily to enhance its processing capacity for mature semiconductor nodes. This bold financial commitment underscores the company's dedication to strengthening its production capabilities. Despite this significant investment, the agreement notably excludes ASML's cutting-edge extreme ultraviolet lithography systems, essential for manufacturing advanced 5 and 7 nanometer node chips. This omission brings to light questions about SMIC's future in the high-stakes realm of next-generation chip production. What implications might this have for SMIC's advancement and their standing in the international tech landscape? Moreover, what ripple effects could this development have on the technology sector at large? Keep watching as we explore the potential outcomes of these pivotal business moves. Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation SMIC, has finalized the acquisition of deep ultraviolet DUV, lithography systems from Dutch company ASML under a revised purchasing contract valued at $1.2 billion. This strategic move aims to mitigate supply chain vulnerabilities for China's leading semiconductor manufacturer, which has faced challenges due to U.S. sanctions. In a stock filing on Wednesday, SMIC, listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, disclosed that it had renewed its volume purchase agreement with ASML in February. This agreement, which focuses on ASML's deep ultraviolet systems, extends until December 31 this year. It allows SMIC, one of its top three foreign suppliers, to proceed with expanding its production capacity for older technology nodes. SMIC is not just expanding its production capabilities, but also its global footprint. With operations spreading across mainland China, including Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen, SMIC aims to bolster its presence in the global semiconductor market. This expansion is part of a broader strategy to reduce reliance on foreign technologies and enhance China's competitiveness in the high-tech sector. By developing and refining semiconductor manufacturing processes within its borders, SMIC plays a critical role in China's ambitious plan to dominate the future technology landscape. However, sources familiar with the matter, who preferred not to be named, indicated that the agreement does not cover ASML's extreme ultraviolet lithography systems. These systems are crucial for manufacturing advanced chips at 5 and 7 nanometer nodes. ASML China's spokeswoman mentioned that the Dutch company is currently awaiting approval from the Netherlands government to export EUV systems to China. This update follows recent speculation from Chinese analysts, who reference unverified reports suggesting that the U.S. may soon relax export license restrictions for certain suppliers providing components to SMIC. In 2023, Washington imposed trade sanctions on SMIC, alleging ties to the Chinese military, a claim that SMIC has consistently refuted. The history of U.S.-China technology tensions dates back several years, with semiconductors being a focal point of these conflicts. The U.S. has long expressed concerns about the potential military applications of advanced technologies produced by Chinese firms like SMIC. These tensions highlight the strategic importance of the semiconductor industry, which is considered the backbone of modern electronics, powering everything from smartphones to sophisticated military systems. As such, the industry's dynamics are closely watched by governments worldwide, emphasizing the geopolitical implications of semiconductor manufacturing and trade. The Trump administration attempted to prevent ASML from exporting essential chip-making technologies to SMIC. Current rules, which the Biden administration has not overturned, mandate that SMIC's U.S. suppliers must obtain a license from the U.S. Commerce Department before shipping equipment and materials to SMIC's wafer fab in Shanghai. These measures are based on national security concerns. SMIC has argued that these restrictions could hinder its progress in developing advanced semiconductor nodes below 10 nanometers. ASML manufactures lithography systems, crucial for leading global foundries and chip makers such as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, Samsung Electronics, and Intel. These sophisticated machines are indispensable in the chip manufacturing process and also play a vital role in the development of essential materials used in semiconductor production. The role of lithography in semiconductor manufacturing cannot be overstated. Lithography systems, such as those produced by ASML, are responsible for printing tiny circuits onto silicon wafers. 
a process critical for creating the chips that power electronic devices. The precision and capability of lithography technology directly determine the efficiency and performance of the final semiconductor products. As nodes become smaller, the complexity and cost of producing these systems increase significantly, making them crucial assets in the competitive tech industry. In pursuit of greater self-reliance in semiconductor technology, in 2023, Chinese company Suzhou Crystal Clear Chemical purchased a used, older-generation lithography system. This acquisition aimed to aid in the development of high-end photoresists, aligning with China's efforts to enhance its capabilities in semiconductor processing. SMIC has announced plans to allocate $4.3 billion towards capital expenditure this year, primarily aimed at expanding its capabilities in mature semiconductor nodes. This investment is expected to alleviate the global chip shortage affecting industries ranging from automotive to consumer electronics. The global chip shortage has had profound implications beyond the tech industry, affecting sectors such as automotive, where the lack of chips has led to significant production delays and financial losses. This shortage has underscored the critical importance of semiconductors and has led countries and companies worldwide to reevaluate their supply chains and increase investment in semiconductor production to prevent future disruptions. SMIC's significant capital investment is a direct response to these global supply chain challenges. Utilizing ASML's DUV lithography systems, SMIC has been manufacturing 14 nanometer chips for smartphones, including those marketed by Honor, Huawei Technologies Co.'s former budget smartphone division. SMIC commenced volume production of these 14 nanometer chips in late 2019. SMIC's move to 14 nanometer production is a significant milestone for China's semiconductor ambitions. This node is widely used in various consumer electronics marking a substantial improvement over older technologies in terms of power efficiency and performance. The ability to produce 14 nanometer chips not only enhances SMIC's market position, but also supports China's broader goal of achieving technological independence and leadership in the global semiconductor industry. Although this technology node was initially introduced by Intel, TSMC, and Samsung several years ago, and featured in devices like the iPhone 6 and Samsung Galaxy S6, SMIC's adoption marks its strategic advancement in semiconductor manufacturing. SMIC has advanced to a more refined process node, referred to as 12 nanometer M plus one, leveraging ASML's DUV technology. This node targets cost-effective applications in consumer electronics, such as televisions and wearables. However, moving beyond M plus one, to develop 7 nanometer chips for budget-friendly 5G smartphones would require access to ASML's more sophisticated EUV lithography systems. Despite ASML being a Dutch company and not under direct US jurisdiction, US sanctions on SMIC effectively restrict sales of these advanced machines. This situation underscores the complexities of global technology supply chains and the regulatory challenges faced by Chinese semiconductor firms like SMIC in accessing critical manufacturing equipment. The strategic implications of the U.S. sanctions on SMIC are profound, not just for the company, but for the broader technological landscape. These sanctions disrupt not only SMIC's operations, but also the supply chains and planning of global electronics manufacturers who rely on SMIC's production capabilities. The ongoing geopolitical tensions serve as a catalyst for significant changes in global technology policies and strategies, with nations increasingly focusing on securing their technological futures amidst these challenges. As we watch SMIC's strategic investments unfold, the company's decision to enhance its mature node capabilities, despite not securing ASML's advanced EUV systems, highlights a crucial moment in the semiconductor industry. This maneuver not only reflects the ongoing shifts in global tech dynamics due to geopolitical tensions, but also poses significant questions about SMIC's future role in high-end chip production. How SMIC navigates these challenges will be key to understanding broader implications for global technology supply chains and international relations in the tech sector. What do you think the future holds for SMIC without access to ASML's advanced EUV lithography systems? How will this impact the global semiconductor market? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Explore endless tech possibilities for an exciting future.